welcome back. And of course, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy, and in this video, I want to go over the tradition of carving scary faces into pumpkins, which we call jack-o'-lanterns. And as I researched the history of why we do this tradition, I found the legend of Stingy Jack. So stay tuned. It is almost Halloween, and my absolute favorite part about any holiday is just the traditions that we do um, and the decorations and just it's so much fun to kind of be in a holiday because then everything can just be as you want it to be regarding that holiday. So for Halloween, I know that along with my family, many other families, at least in the United States, do a tradition of pumpkin carving. And so that is where, obviously, you carve a scary face into a pumpkin. It's like ASMR. Say hello. What's up, camera? Uh, and there's Chase. What's up, camera? <laughs> There's Miss Evelyn. <laughs> and while that is a tradition that I truly do enjoy because you can get together with your family or your friends and just be creative and make your jack-o'-lantern face look however you want, I still couldn't help but wonder, why do we carve pumpkins? <laughs> what? What is the basis for this tradition? So, of course, I decided to do a little research into pumpkin carving to find out kind of where it started and why we carve pumpkins. So, I did find on history.com a nice little story that I thought I'd share with you guys um, regarding where the tradition of pumpkin carving originated. So while I researched the origination of the jack-o'-lantern, like I said, I found an article on history.com, and the article is called History of the Jack-o'-lantern, and hopefully I'll remember to put that down in the description box below so you'll be able to unfold the description box and read the article for yourself if you would like. Now, before I read this, I just want to remind you guys, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber to my channel, now might be a good time to go ahead and click subscribe. It's right down below under this video. And once you hit subscribe, you can then click the bell, and that will turn on your notifications and let you know every single time that I post a new video. So... Remember to subscribe, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a like, and leave us a comment down below so that we can read about your experiences with jack-o'-lanterns. But let me go ahead now and read the history of the jack-o'-lantern. And it says here, every October, carved pumpkins peer out from porches and doorsteps in the United States and other parts of the world. Gourd-like orange fruits inscribed with ghoulish faces and illuminated by candles are a sure sign of the Halloween season. The practice of decorating jack-o'-lanterns 
The name comes from an Irish folk tale about a man named Stingy Jack, originated in Ireland, where the large turnips and potatoes served as an early canvas. Irish immigrants brought this tradition to America, home of the pumpkin, and it became an integral part of Halloween festivities. Now, that alone was, like, surprising to me because I had no idea that over in Europe they didn't really have pumpkins. So they were actually carving jack-o'-lanterns out of, like it says here, turnips and potatoes and things like that. So I found just that piece of information rather interesting. But now let's go on to the legend of Stingy Jack, okay? So people have been making jack-o'-lanterns at Halloween for centuries. The practice originated from an Irish myth about a man nicknamed Stingy Jack. According to the story, Stingy Jack invited the devil to have a drink with him. True to his name, Stingy Jack didn't want to pay for his drink. So he convinced the devil to turn himself into a coin that Jack could use to buy the drink. Once the devil did so, Jack decided to keep the money and put it into his pocket next to a silver cross, which prevented the devil from changing back into his original form. Jack for one year, oh wait, okay. Jack eventually freed the devil under the condition that he would not bother Jack for one year and that should Jack die, he would not claim his soul. The next year, Jack again tricked the devil into climbing into a tree to pick a piece of fruit. While he was up in the tree, Jack carved a sign of the cross into the tree's bark so that the devil could not come down until the devil promised Jack not to bother him again for ten more years. Soon after, Jack died. As the legend goes, God would not allow such an unsavory figure into heaven. The devil, upset by the trick that Jack had played on him and keeping his word not to claim his soul, would not allow Jack into hell. He sent Jack off into the dark night with only a burning coal to light his way. Jack put the coal into a carved out turnip and has been roaming the earth with it ever since. The Irish began to refer to this ghostly figure as Jack of the Lantern, and then simply Jack-o'-lantern. In Ireland and Scotland, people began to make their own versions of Jack's Lantern by carving scary faces into turnips or potatoes and placing them into windows or near doors to frighten away Stingy Jack and any other wandering evil spirits. In England, Large beets are used. Immigrants from these countries brought the jack-o'-lantern tradition with them when they came to the United States. And they soon found that pumpkins, which is a fruit native to America, make perfect jack-o'-lanterns. So that is the story, the legend and myth of the jack-o'-lantern. And also explains to you why we use pumpkins to carve our jack-o'-lanterns. But I really think it's a very fun tradition. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Do you guys carve jack-o'-lanterns out of pumpkins? Or do you use another thing like a turnip or a potato like the story goes? Let us know in the comments down below, of course. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for being viewers and subscribers and supporting this channel in any way possible. It really means the world to me as I'm trying to grow my YouTube audience. So anytime you can give it a like or subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed, that helps me out so, so, so much. But just watching this video has also helped me out a lot. So thank you so much for spending your time with me. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.